spend a little bit more time talking about that long A sound. I found some of our picture cards that we have. And so the first picture we have is plate. But when I write out plate, we have the pole, P-L, A, T. But in order for this to say A, I need to have that silent E or that bossy E at the end. That gives me the word plate. My next one I have is rake. And again, er, a, k. But in order for that to say a, I need the bossy e at the end. The other picture I have is game. G, a, m. We have a whale. W, a, o. I need that e at the end in order for that A to say its name. And the last one is gate. G -a -t. If I would take the bossy E off, now this would be a short sound. And so it would be g -a -t, And that's not a real word. So that those E's are very important at the end of these words. I have a few more words. What if I have this word? That's my word, man. Now I'm going to take that bossy E and end it. Now that makes the A say its name, and my new word is mm, aim, main. How about if I have this word? Cap. I take and put my bossy E at the end. Now I've formed the word cape. How about this word? Rat. If I take the E, now it becomes rate. So those E's are very important that we're putting them at the end of the word when that vowel needs to say its name. And since we're working with the letter A, the vowel says its long sound, A, A, A. I'm going to work with a a little bit more with the long sound, but this time I'm going to give you words and I'm going to ask you to take away a sound. So the first one I have is the word bake. I want you to take away the b sound. If you take away the b sound in bake, what do you get? That's right, ache. My next word, cape. Take away the k sound you will get the word ape. My next word is crane. Take away the k sound. Now you get the word rain. I have the word steak. Take away the s. You will get the word take. And my last one, I have the word plane. I want you to take away the p sound. Now you get lane. I'm going to switch gears now. That's just a little bit on that long A sound, but I want to work with some adjectives. So I'm going to erase my board and we're going to switch over to grammar. And so grammar this week is working with those adjectives. And an adjective describes a naming word. And we know that naming words are person, places, or things. So I'm gonna put a sentence on the board. I'm challenging you to see if you can read the sentence on your own, and then we'll go through the adjectives together. Here's my first sentence. It reads, the food is yummy. In this sentence, yummy is my adjective and it is describing food. Here's my next sentence. The dessert is sweet. My adjective is sweet, 
and it is describing dessert. Were you able to read this sentence? John kicked a hard ball. What's the adjective? Hard. What is it describing? Ball. Good. And I have one last sentence for you. The sentence says, Alex sings silly songs. What's the adjective? Silly. What does it describe? Songs. Good. We will continue to review these. Thanks for watching.